Okay, welcome to the Proving Grounds. This is a continuation of my Batch Lab. In Command Prompt, we already covered uh, Echo and also setting a prompt for an input. So for that, we're going to expand on that. Let me move this over here and let me open up a scratch pad here. We're going to build a batch file. One of the first things we are going to do in starting this batch file is we're going to set an echo off. That way we don't have what our input prompts to be repeating themselves. So we'll give it a little bit of space and we're going to set up a little reminder. And that goes right here, it's prompting for numeric values. Now. I pre-type these things as you see here we're going to set that prompt for, to enter a numeric value but here we're going to do for multiples so we are going to set for three different values and we're going to also set up a reminder for our string value prompt and we're going to do the same thing we're going to set for our string values. Where str was just meant for string, we are putting in str 1, 2, and 3 for values 1, 2, and 3. So far, so good. Now, here's the tricky part. We want to create a CSV file. So for that, we are going here, and we are going to put in an echo and also an output. So, where before it echoed onto the screen, it's not going to put it on the screen, but it's going to put our numeric values into this output.csv. And then we're going to do the same thing and echo out our alphanumeric strings into the CSV file. The last portion is going to be that we want to echo the CSV file created. So we're going to put that over here. As you can see, same output.csv file. So with this portion all done, last step, we pause it. And then we'll save save as and going to create input values dot bat I already had it done here we'll replace it and I'm going to close this out and then I'm going to run it and you see it's asking for a numeric value we give it 56 uh, we'll go with 0, 03 and we'll go with 2600 for nostalgia's sake so First one, 56, we'll call J-pop. Why? Because I feel like it. Next, Eddie, same reason. And last, Captain Crunch, for all you 2600 fans out there. The CSV file has been created. Press any key to continue. That's done. In my directory, I now have an output.csv. Now, I open that up. And it's asking for basic information. 
and it created it. Now, my three entries, for some weird reason, are all on the same line. But we can work on that. Uh, next step will be trying to set this thing up so that way it takes all the data and either puts it in separate rows or separate columns. So that is going to be our next step.